Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim, bringing you guys Daily Deals with Tim, where I talk about tech, crypto, and stock deals, all for you guys. And before I begin, this is my personal opinion and not a financial advice. So the topic that I want to talk about today is a question that came up. Is cryptocurrency free money? So when people think of cryptocurrency, some of the opinions that people have is that you simply invest and it becomes like a Lambo. So you put $5 in and tomorrow there's your Lambo. You put $10 in, you get a free house. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous, but some of the uh, beginning investors or some of maybe you guys, it was for me too at first, is that if you invest into cryptocurrency, it's going to multiply into hundred folds and you're going to have this crazy rich life and you got everything you want. And it seems like some people think of cryptocurrency as free money. However, I am here to tell you that cryptocurrency is not a free money, but you got to put work into it. Now let's, let's look at some opinions of people. So, Someone says, you just put in money and it multiplies. Wrong. At least it can happen, but there are multiple instances that this does not happen at all. Now, invest into this ICO to get an instant Lambo right on your doorstep. Wrong. As for ICOs, there is a very there's a lot of danger with ICOs as they promise something and they don't even have the real product. I, f I feel like most of the ICOs are like that in, the in that they promise this one product and it's going to be the best product. It's going to beat Bitcoin and Litecoin, Ethereum is going to be the best product in the cryptocurrency world. And behold, sometimes it's a scam. Sometimes it never happens. Sometimes it takes years to come up with the actual product. So there is a couple steps in cryptocurrencies that get you to good places and get you success by investing into cryptocurrencies. So I'm going to address a couple questions that you should ask yourself when you're investing into cryptocurrency as it is not free money, but you got to work for it. And what decisions do you have to make? So first of all, which cryptocurrency do you invest? This is one of the main questions that you have to ask yourself because depending on which one you invest, their future is, can be quite different. So if you look a couple years back, there's hundreds and hundreds of cryptocurrency that came up after Bitcoin. And a lot of them actually disappeared because they didn't have a good development team. They didn't have a good project. They didn't have a good community. And sometimes they just have promises, no actual product. So those are the points that I ask you or challenge you guys to ask yourself. Is a cryptocurrency that you, you invest in a good project for the future? Not just today, but for the future. Do they have a quality dev team? Now, if there is no dev team or let's say one dev dev person that's very that's a gamble you're going to do but if they have multiple developers and marketing teams that's going to be a good investment in my opinion now do they have a strong community so as for community um that is what makes up the the coin depending on the community it has it can either make it or break it but uh, at the same time, a lot of the coins have developing communities and startups or starting communities. So that might change. But if it if it has a strong community, that's a good one to invest in as well. And one of the most important thing is that it has an actual product, not just promises. So if you can actually see the product and see it work, it has a working wallet, has working features, then that's a good sign because if it just has promises a lot of times it can be scam or it can take forever to actually launch 
So that is a question that you have to ask yourself. Which cryptocurrency do you invest in? Now, the second question is, when do you invest? As you know, the volatility of cryptocurrency is pretty wild as it goes a lot down as seen the past couple of weeks. It has been trending down for a long time. And also it goes up really quick as well as the, the month of July and August, it went up pretty crazy. I would say a lot of the coins went up like almost 100% if not more. Now, if you invest at the top of the price trend, you can be at a loss for a long period of time. So you ask yourself, am I at the top right now? And if you are, probably want to reconsider your purchase or your investment. Also, while if you invest while the price drives up or price drives down, you can be at a loss too. Because sometimes people get on the train. So when if, if there's one altcoin that is going up by like 20, 30 percent, you want to you want to buy it right now because you, in your mind, it's going to be up 100 percent by tomorrow. However, sometimes when you jump on that train, the train goes down immediately. It seems like at least. So you got to be careful if there is a sharp trend up or a sharp trend down, there could be a consequence after that. I mean, for me, a sharp trend down would be more profitable because when you get it at the down, there's more chance for it to go up than down than further down. However, if there's fundamental problems with the coin, that's a different problem. And as I said, invest at the bottom can net you profit because that is the goal. You want to invest at the bottom of a good quality cryptocurrency that will eventually go up either in a linear path or exponential path. Now, the last question is, when do you sell? I feel like this is one of the biggest questions that people ask because they want to, they want profit ultimately. And a lot of people get into cryptocurrency to make profit. It's all about the gains, the profit and the money. And if you only focus on that, it's, it's really hard to just live your daily lives without thinking about cryptocurrency because always in your mind, you're, you're, you want to think about profit, profit, profit. However, there is a difference because depending on how you plan, your, your perspective can, can be different. So the first option is that when you fear, when you give into the FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt, then you will be taking a loss. You sell off right after it drops down maybe 5%. All right, I'm not gonna take, not gonna take any more losses here. And the next day it goes up 20%. That's an instant regret. I have done that before. I still regret, but I think it's just part of the learning process. Now, a, a good plan is at your planned point. So you make a plan when you purchase that cryptocurrency, you're gonna set sell that at a blank blank profit margin and no looking behind. So let's say you're going to sell it if it goes up by $10 and then it goes up by $10 and you got to sell it then because that is your plan. Now, whether your plan is good or bad, that is depending on you. I cannot make a plan for you. You got to research and make the plan yourself. However, if you do not stick to your plan, that could be a regret as well, because let's say it went up by $10 and it dropped back $10 tomorrow and you didn't sell. Well, that is your mistake because you had made the plan, you didn't stick through and you, you're paying the consequences. However, sometimes you could, after you make a plan, you can make another plan. So let's say it went up $10 and you're gonna say like, all right, from here, I'm going to do another $10. So once you make that plan, plan, if it goes down, well, your plan was wrong. So you can't really do anything about that, but just kind of hold on to it. Now, the last option is never <laughs> because hodling is a full-time job. Now, this was a very interesting statement 
when I read it because I never thought of huddling as a job. But actually it is because every time you see the price trend go up and down, you want to sell that cryptocurrency. You want to sell it for that little bit of profit or a little bit of loss. But actually, if you just hodl as it and doing it as a full-time job, you will see the gradual trend up. And even if it goes down a bit, you see it go back up, it goes down a bit, go back up. It's just part of the cycle. And if you had if you had chosen a good product, good cryptocurrency, you bought it at a good time, you're hodling for a full-time job, I'll tell you guys. A lot of the times that's going to give you guys success in the cryptocurrency market and success means to the moon as I said before that's where my goal is at I invest into cryptocurrencies some of it for trading but most of it for long-term huddling so that as I see it go through the cycle ups and downs I keep myself calm just wait till the moon so that is it guys is cryptocurrency free money? No, because you got to work for it. You got to have a plan. Ask yourself these kind of questions. Challenge yourself. And once you invested, keep calm and stick to your plan or just hodl it out. So thank you guys for watching and supports, supporting this stream. And uh, like this video, comment below on what you think and smash that subscribe button for me. And also, if you guys want to support the channel, Check out the affiliate links below. I really appreciate that. And as always, bring you guys more deals on Daily Deals with Tim.